Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make these hot chocolate pouches and then this is um, one that I had left over for some that I made for my dance girls and let me show you what I mean by hot chocolate pouch. Uh, this is supposed to be glued together but in here you're going to have to put your um, hot chocolate mix and you close it, you, you uh, glue it from right there so it actually makes like a little pouch. And because it's, you know, holiday themed, whatever, then I grabbed a candy cane and glued it to the front. So it was like a peppermint hot chocolate kit in an envelope. So let me show you uh, what materials you're going to be needing. Solid cardstock. I suggest cardstock because it holds better, but if you want to use just like regular colored copy paper, you can do that. Colorful scrapbook paper, obviously mine is holiday themed. This pack is called There's No Place Like Home for the Holidays and I got it at Hobby Lobby. You're going to be needing a ruler and scissors to cut down and to measure, but I'm going to be using um, my paper cutter because it already has the measurements on here and it's faster for me to do it this way. And then to glue it, I'm just going to go with my hot glue gun. And then obviously, you're going to want some candy canes and some hot chocolate. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so for the um, solid part, the solid paper, you're gonna cut it 8.5 by 5.5 inches. You're going to end up with a rectangle like this. Um, once you have it, you're going to measure um, the four inch mark and then the eight inch mark and you're gonna fold it there. So um, let me measure them real quick and I'll be right back. Okay so I measured the four inch mark on both sides top and bottom and the eight mark right here. So you're going to carefully try to fold Make sure that it matches up on both sides and then I like to take a pen and just kind of press so that your folds are nice and crisp and then we're gonna do it at the 8 mark so if you fold it this way make sure that this one you're gonna fold it in to this side base. This is what I'm going to call this. So you have the tab and when you close it, it should be even up like this. Okay, so with the excess paper that I have after I cut the base, I'm going to cut a strip that's 3 inches 0.75 by 1 inch 0.75 and that's going to be the little strip that's going to be at the front and then for the decorative paper, you're going to cut a 3.75 by 5.25. So I'm going to cut that out of here. And usually I get four pieces out of one paper, so make sure you recycle and try to use it as much as you can. I also ended up using different kinds of the scrapbook paper, and I just wanted to show you guys how cute they look. Alright, so now it's time to put it together. So, um... I have my base, my hot chocolate, my decorative pieces, so I'm going to use that one, and one of the little strips, and my candy cane. So, this is optional, but I like to do it to have it more secure. You're just going to grab some tape. It doesn't have to be a lot. Just put it in the center of the paper, and this is just to hold it so it doesn't slide around. Try to center it as much as you can. Make sure the powder is like evenly spread out. Then on the flap, put a line of glue. And close it. Now 
Now we're gonna glue this to the front. figure out where you want it to go so after I finished making this first one I decided that I didn't want to use this black strip and they actually looked way better without it because of the paper but it's totally optional and then just put some glue on the cane hope you guys like this little DIY um, it's very easy it's not that time-consuming I think the hardest part is measuring it out and then folding the base but other than that it's easy it's inexpensive and it's a really cute detail see you guys next time bye